Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to our November favourite things. I mean, already November. I, I can't believe it. Was it a month ago we did the first <sighs> version of this? I mean, it's the end of November, mm -hmm. actually. Yes, so last month we started doing our favourite things in October and you guys said you wanted to keep seeing it. So we're keeping up this video. So now today we're doing our favourite things in November. Soon we're going to be... Like it's going to be 2022 soon. Yeah, like the next time we film this, it'll be like the end <laughs> of December. Anyway, we are leading into the Christmas festive time and we wanted to let you know that currently our festive ebook bundle is having a Black Friday sale and we don't want you to miss out. Yes, so currently, um, I think it's Sunday today, tomorrow the sale finishes. So make sure you get in. So it's Black from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. And we are doing 20% of all of our cookbooks, but the best deal really at the moment, I think, is the festive ebook bundle. So that bundle of three books, which is our grazing platter ebook, our cocktails ebook, and yeah, Christmas. our Christmas ebook. So the Christmas one has um, like you know, main courses, side dishes, um, desserts, as well as nibbles and sweet treats. So there is literally every recipe you could need to have a really delicious low carb Christmas. That bundle is currently 20% off the already reduced price. So it's yeah. the cheapest it has ever been. So it is the perfect time now to grab it and make sure that you set yourself up for a delicious low carb Christmas. If you've been thinking of getting any of our other eBooks, now's a great time with 20% off. We don't do sales very often. We don't. We so it is don't. a great time to grab like our everyday keto dinners or dairy free keto. Lots of things. There's to lots of from. books. <laughs> the best way to find it is there will be a link in the description below. Yep. Or if you just go to our website, there's a section that says cookbooks. Yes. Yeah, so Click on that. Travel.com. Yep. Click on the cookbook section and you will see all of the books that we have available. They are all in ebook form and when you buy them, they will be emailed, a link will be emailed to you to download. Yes, so you have access to the recipes straight away, which is great if you're doing any entertaining at the moment. We're coming into December, so, and we're coming into, you know, a bit more freedom here in Australia. Yes, we so are. You're gonna be catching up with family and friends and this is, a, you know, I think they're all great resources to help you serve delicious low carb meals. Anyway. Let's get into our November Who's going things. first? Uh, I'll go first. You go. <laughs> it's supposed to be warming up. <laughs> it's not <laughs> quite, but we are... The we've got a jumper on. It's been quite cold. But we are starting to experience warmer days. And I have been loving this Yeti can holder cooler. We bought it when we were in Catherine. That's why it's got that pocket rocket um, branding on it because it was from a cafe cafe in Catherine um, but Yeti was everywhere in mm, the Northern Territory we love because Yeti up there. hot all the time up there and they like to keep their drinks cold lots of people were using these and mm -hmm. we bought them anyway I have been loving it for keeping our um, canned drinks cold it just screws off like that you pop your can in and it keeps it much colder for a much longer period of time. Yes, and also you don't get the cold, wet condensation on the outside. So you can pop this down on any surface and it's not going to ruin it with like, you know, the you know how you mm. have a can and it's hot and it yeah. drips off. Um, and yeah, I think it was such a cool idea that we found them from this place in like Catherine because now it's like a lovely souvenir and we use it all the time. And my one it's is pink. like hot pink. Um, they have loads of colours on the Yeti website. I think it would be a really cool Christmas gift as well if there's someone you know, maybe they like a beer or two. This could be a good option for them. We love the Yeti products. We have mm -hmm. quite a few of them now. We're just building our collection. <laughs> um, we have like a small T1 that has a lid. Um, we have a bigger one that we make our electrolytes in that might come up in a minute. Um, water bottle, my water bottle. Your water bottle yeah. is, is mine? No. No. No, it's not. <laughs> My first thing for November is this cauliflower rice from Costco. So it is awesome because you buy this bag. Do you know how much it was, Dan? Oh, I did. I got a photo of it. So you buy this one bag. It's ten ninety nine, and you get three pouches like this, which I think this serves two people. It's 300 grams of cauliflower rice, so depending on what you're making. But the good thing about it is that it um, has a good... So this is best before 
February 2022 and it just stays in the fridge so it is awesome to have in the fridge for like I guess anything <laughs> Any, we, we, we use it yeah in a lot anything of but it's nice that it's there and i don't have to make it or go and buy it or anything um like particularly you saw i guess in a couple of vlogs ago um i did a bit of a fridge dive to make up dinner and i made like a risotto and this is the cauliflower rice i used i just think it's super convenient to have it in the fridge all the time it's fresh i don't really like frozen cauliflower rice that's just my personal preference so this is a really good option. I just make sure to check the best before date when I buy it to make sure. But I mean, we bought this in November and it's good until February. So we'll definitely use it by then. What's some of your favorite cauliflower rice? It's just dishes? really good to add to a side of anything that's yeah. kind of saucy. saucy. Like Butter curry. chicken, curries, stews, stir fries. Stir fries. And you can flavor it if you want. So yeah. you could make like a um, fried, rice. fried rice or anything. Um, we just tend to salt and pepper and cook it in the microwave. If I'm doing it as a side, yeah, I just salt and pepper. Maybe a bit of butter if I feel like it. But yeah, but easy to make cauliflower fried rice, anything like that. I think it's just super convenient to have. And it's probably the best pre-made one we've had. Yeah. Like making our own, we definitely think is the best. The texture of it is consistent. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have big clumps in it, like sometimes when you get it from the supermarket. Next up, I'm going to talk about how I make my electrolytes. So we've decanted the electrolytes that we use, but this is the bulk nutrient electrolyte bl blend. There's a couple of reasons I really like this. One, it's unsweetened, mm -hmm. and two, it is super cheap compared mm -hmm. to a lot of other electrolytes that we've found. Mm -hmm. So you can get it on the Bulk Nutrients website. We're not affiliated with them at all. We've never like had anything to do with them except that we like their product <laughs> and we tell you about it because um, we really... It's also really, an Australian product. It comes from Tasmania. It ships super fast. Yeah. Um, we've like got it in a couple of days from Tasmania, mm -hmm. which is pretty impressive. And... We've switched to this for a couple of months now. Mm -hmm. The way I make it is I put a little bit of boiling water in the bottom of my um, tumbler. I put a teaspoon of this and I kind of mix it up to try and make it like as smooth as I can without Dissolve. lumps. Yeah, yeah. Cause it does get a little bit lumpy. If you had a shaker, that would probably be a better option. Yeah. Um, and then I add a teaspoon of lemon juice or any kind of citrus juice. I've used lime before, but lemon is perfect because it's cheap and um, works just the same as mm -hmm. lime juice. Lime juice isn't adding anything extra. Um, I use, Erica's mum gets us these Echinacea and Elderberry drops just from her naturopath. And we have been taking them yeah. for a really long time. And I just put just a squirt. Just meant to help with um, your colds and your flus and stuff. System. Yeah. And we don't get cold, so we don't know if it's this, but we'll keep doing we it. We have just <laughs> added it into our electrolytes for a long yeah. time. Um, and she just gets it for us, so win-win for us. Um, and if I want it... If I want to add sweetener, I will add a couple of drops of um, stevia, stevia. Um, the better stevia. We don't have any at the moment because I've used it all, so I'm just not even been yeah, putting it in I at all. Yeah, I think it's from Now Foods. I is usually it? get it on iHerb. Stevia glyceride is yeah. the best option, and you just literally need a drop or two. But I don't mind it without the sweetener. I don't need the sweetener. It actually um, doesn't need the sweetener no, at all. The lemon we... juice is nice because this does have... A little bit of a flavor. I don't find it that bad. Some people find it unpleasant, but just with the bit of lemon juice, that's enough to kind of mask it. I also just add uh, a little bit of extra salt. For me, I just like getting a little bit more salt in at the start of the day as part of my electrolyte blend. And then I just top it with cold water and we just have that kind of before we start our day. Mm -hmm. And for a bag of this electrolyte 25 blend, bucks. it's $25 plus shipping. I mean, for the one we were using before, which was the Ultima Replenisher, the cheapest place I would get it would be iHerb, but it was still like 70 something dollars. It's so ridiculous. This, this is, is definitely, great. make your own with this. Yeah, so oh, much cheaper. Even if you get the Ultima one, it's super sweet. And we used to do a bag of this in with it to yeah. kind of cut it, and that would make it less sweet. So if you still would like something sweet, that's a good way of doing it. If you're planning on doing a clean and simple reset with us in January, you'll need this. This is the only electrolyte that, we, that, we, let you, yeah. that we let you use. <laughs> okay, 
Are you going two Costco's back to back? Wow. What a Costco fan. <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking about coat hangers with you guys, but these velvet coat hangers have changed our wardrobe's life. You don't have to, I got them from Costco. They came in a box of 50 and they were on special, so we got them. I've seen them at Bunnings, I've seen them at Kmart, so it's up to you where you get them. But the awesome thing about them is they are non-slip. So for anyone who, I mean, Dan doesn't really understand because she doesn't really have, you know, dresses, dresses or things dress. that are made out of material apart from t-shirt material. You know, anything that's... I do. Anything that's kind of silky or whatever, or if it doesn't have, you know, a proper sleeve or it's got straps, they just slide off and it's super annoying. This, nothing moves. Like, it's actually sometimes difficult to get the clothes on there because it's so grippy. Also, our wardrobe before was like a mix match of every old coat yeah. hanger we'd ever found in our life. And there was some plastic, some wire, some, some from wooden, like some up. frilly. Yeah. And it just looked really messy. Now, it just looks super neat because they're all the same. Mm -hmm. And it looks so nice. You can hang pants and skirts and things this way. I just... I'm so glad. Like it's Our been wardrobe ridiculous, looks amazing. But it's, it's honestly yeah. been a real game changer. So I would highly recommend any sort of velvet covered um, coat hanger. Recommend it. Next up for me, I'm going to talk a little bit about a change in our morning routine mm. and it features our sauna. So we've mentioned our sauna a couple of times. We've probably had it well over a year yeah. now. We got it kind of right at the start of COVID when we cancelled a trip and had excess money and we thought, <laughs> look, we'll buy a sauna, why not? Instead of flights <laughs> to Texas, we have, we've got a sauna, you know, same time. So we used to use the sauna at night before we went to bed and it worked fine, but it was kind of like we, were, we would be sitting on the couch going, can we be bothered having a sauna? So we changed that recently over the last couple of weeks. And now we get up in the morning, we have our electrolytes, we go for our exercise, usually a walk or a run for me. And then when we get home, we do the sauna. So I put the sauna on as soon as I get up, takes about probably 45 minutes to an hour to get to the temperature. I've set it at 55 for us. Um, in winter, we go a little bit hotter. Um, and by the time we get back from our walk, it's ready to go. I go first, sit in there for 20 minutes, read my book, and then Erica goes, and then I, I make breakfast and head off to work. And it's kind of really been working well. We've, feel, yeah. we've really felt re-energized. And when we have a shower, we have a cold shower. So it's kind of like hot, cold therapy mm -hmm. together. And yeah. that wasn't working at night. It was kind of like re-energizing. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't relaxing so much. It was kind of geeing you up. And I found like having it in the morning is also better as far as making sure I keep on top of my hydration rather than having it at night and then going to sleep. Um, but yeah, it's been so good. And the cold shower is really cold. The, the key yeah. to the situation, I think. That's what makes it, you, like, you feel amazing after the cold mm -hmm. shower. You feel like you could like really do a lot of things. <laughs> you, you know, you feel like, <laughs> do a lot you of feel things. like really... <laughs> Anyway, someone asked in the comments when we mentioned on a previous vlog, we show, showed you the sauna if it's for weight loss. That's We don't do it for weight loss. We just do it for health and well-being and we like the feeling mm -hmm. of how we feel when we have it regularly. So, yes, you've been enjoying the morning sauna. Yeah, and the, the whole routine of it yeah. I've enjoyed. So not just the sauna by itself, but the routine that we've developed in the morning is working really well at yeah, the moment. Yeah, because when you started your new job, I guess was, our hours completely changed and we yeah. have a lot more time in the morning and you get home later, so we've been eating dinner later and I just don't like doing the sauna. Like I like to have a good couple of hours after dinner before yeah. I do it. So, yes. What's next up for you? Okay, my last one. It's a bit of a different one, but... Not so 20 couple of years ago now 2019 2019 for Mother's Day I got my mum a present of Storyworth. If you don't know what Storyworth is, basically it is you can give it like you can buy it for yourself or gift it to somebody and every week they get a question which is a prompt asking them something about their life. So when I did it for my mum, I chose all of the questions. Oh, you chose all of them. Yeah, so you yeah. choose 51. You can either just let them choose or you can, like, they give you a list and you check which ones you want and you can add any that aren't there. 
And it's all sorts of questions about their lifetime. Can I give you an example? Yeah. What do you consider one of your greatest achievements in life? Okay, so that's an example, but there's all sorts of different ones. Like, what was your fate? What was your childhood bedroom like? Or, you know, who was a person who was inspirational to you? She's done such a good job, Erica's mum, because there's like lots of photos. Yeah. And... So what happens is each week from Storyworth, my mum got an email saying, you know, who was a, you know, what was your childhood bedroom like? And then she just responds to the email telling her little story. And then the next week she'll get another one. And then after a year, you've got 52 of these and they make it into a book. And along the way, she's also added, you could add photos in with each story. Um, and She yeah, took it very seriously as she well. She did. That's why she went for so long. Mm -hmm. Normally it just goes for a year and you get the book sent to you. But she really wanted to put... Um, you know, a lot time of effort, of effort into, into the questions, and yeah, it's now this beautiful keepsake that we have. That's my mum there, Cheryl, um, and it's got she got photos. one for you yeah. and one for her, Erica's sister. Yeah, and now it's a keepsake that can yes. be passed on to um, our niece and nephew and generations that might, might not even get to meet Cheryl. So yeah, and. And when I was doing, like when I gifted it to her, I was able to nominate that I wanted to see the story. So each time she would do one, I would also get the email with the story in it. And you just, I've learned so much about my mum and her life that it's been, yeah, it's really interesting. And I would highly recommend, like if someone's looking for a gift idea for a parent, like it's a really a great thing to do. And yeah, they just are basically responding to an email each week, so it doesn't feel as onerous. It's like, tell us your life story. Yeah, no. Um, and I think there's an option if someone doesn't have email, they can call you and you can just talk to them oh, and someone really? will transcribe cool. it. So, yeah, it's called Storyworth. And, I mean, I'm just so impressed with the quality of this book yep. as well. <laughs> So that is our favorite things in November. We will be back again in December with our favorite things in December. Hopefully you enjoy this. And they're actually like really fun to it film. Fun. and Just like, think about as well. Like. Yeah, we spend like the month going, what are we gonna put in? We now have a little list, a running list that we add things to throughout the month. So it's quite a fun thing for it us is. to film. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy filming it. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you get more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.